continuing on with this clock, I got the uh, uh, bellows redone. There's a lot of people that might disagree with me putting Tyvek paper on. Originally, uh, these antique cuckoo clocks had either goat skin or leather on the um, bellows. Tyvek paper is cheaper for me. For $20, I can redo 20 clocks. If I was to buy leather, uh, it costs a little bit more than $20 to do one clock. Tyvek paper lasts longer than leather. They're my clocks. I can repair them the way I want to repair. These videos are not intended for you to do stuff exactly the way that I repair clocks. They're your clocks. I'm just showing you the way that I do it. You take it for what it's worth and you purchase whatever material you want to purchase to repair your clocks. I'm just giving you an ideal. The way I put the, uh, the way I repair the bellows works the same way whether you're using Tyvek paper or leather. It's the same process. So anyway, this particular bellow on the right has got the uh, arm on it that lifts the bird. And it doesn't have a lift wire. A lift wire didn't come with it. And if you buy lift wires, more than likely they're not going to be long enough. So I'm going to show you what I do. I have a roll of piano wire. The piano wire seems to work the best. You uh, make the, your end connection here that fits into the um, bellow itself. Go ahead and uh, put that on the bellow. But you want to go up through the slot of the clock. And I'm going to show you why here in a second. Connect it to the bellow. Put the bellow in place. And then you have the piano wire going up through the slot where the pendulum would go of the clock. You would take a permanent marker and you see where the, um, the arm is right here. You would take a permanent marker holding the bellow down and mark the wire where you're going to bend it. Take it back out of the clock. Find your uh, mark where you marked it on the uh, on the wire. Maybe cut a. Uh, an inch or so uh, to the right of that mark, giving yourself plenty of uh, space, and then bend the wire. Now you want to bend the wire toward the, uh, toward the back of the clock, and that's what I'm, putting this uh, bellow back on so I can bend the wire properly.
because I want to bend it toward the back of the clock. Holding my pliers about where that black mark is. And making a bend. Now this piano wire is extremely stout. And so, uh, that's why I like using it. Somebody uh, said that they use piano wire. So I like using the piano wire. And so now I'm going to connect it back up. Put a screw in to the bellow where it belongs. and test it. I don't have the uh, bird wire quite right. The uh, wire for the bird keeps coming underneath. I might have the bird in the wrong position. But anyway, that's how I make my bellow lift wires. Um, I hope the, these videos are helping y'all. And again, you don't have to do exactly what I do. Uh, they're your clocks. You do what you want.